Do you guys want the game music? Or do you guys want music music? Is this okay? But Stanley simply couldn't oh. handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? I did this by accident. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Farster says I did the very first time. I'm quite sure I did. But I'm not 100%. Because this is different. I haven't seen this yet. Um, so obviously I'm going to cut the vault a little bit back. Because this is actually quite interesting, guys. Welcome back to part 3 of Pledge Place. The Stanley Parable here on the vault on YouTube. Um, and obviously also on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Pledge. Thanks for watching. Um... I was going to go for a drink, I was going to go and, and grab a banana as well and get some food and some drinks in me, but I accidentally left click like you guys saw earlier when I asked about the music and this happened. Um, I'm going to grab, literally, I'm going to grab mango juice right behind me, you can see my kitchen right there, I'll be right back, two seconds, grab a banana, grab a mango juice, I'll be right back, like literally, two seconds, listen to the music, I'm just going to keep it on this. Uh, let's get this into action. So we accidentally clicked that door. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. <laughs> and if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had oh. simply missed a memo. All right, so this is one that I haven't seen yet. I'm not really sure how it's going to end. Let's have a look. Well, it's very tempting. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Very tempting, isn't it? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Hmm. On the left? Uh, Firestar says, did you close the door where you went in the white banana? I did, actually. Yeah, I clicked on the door a few times. Nothing happened. I don't know what that was. Um, let's see what's happened over to this side. 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, Get hoping Chris he out might of the find an closet. answer there. Check the broom closet again. It's closed again. I can hear that, but there's nothing we can do with it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright. So, I'm thinking back about what I've done already. There's one thing that I'm kind of curious about, which is the numbers in the room just before the power shut down. And the red circle that's there as well. Both of them, I didn't really do anything yet. Um, I'm curious. Let's go upstairs. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. I love the narrator. I think they picked, like, a brilliant voice for it. I don't know where I, rec I recognize the voice. I don't know where from, but I do recognize it. So look, we've been here before. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Right, we did that one. We did already. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I did have the strength to find out. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, it's not one over there with the red letters place, in the black background. Freedom meant nothing. Oh, there's one here as well. I think I saw it fired. Maybe maybe those were those, but I think I saw two of them. First go, that had fired on him. Oh, there you go. That's what I meant. That was right up there. 104. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been it under someone's control? Dropping back like he's saying in Jets. I think was this the any X-Men. It's a repro, man. With his it's a repro. Job, that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Right. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Right, so Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? There are two things up here that I want to double check. But first of all, if you weren't the here... Proof, the heart of the one. operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded like from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Alright, so, 
I'm lagging a little bit, guys, so if you're dropping some frames, it's probably going to be on my side if you're lagging a little bit. Um, there's numbers like these. One, two, three, four, five is what I've seen across the room. Five is over there. Three is here. Four is up there. And one and two are there in the corner. Two white lights in the corner. Um, then this is the red circle I was talking about, which really confused me. Uh, I haven't stepped in it yet. I'll probably do that here shortly. But the two things that I actually forgot about on the first playthrough is that apparently these are buttons you can press. Like a blue one with a, like, with a house, like a, like a home page thing or something. Four buttons and a, and a red one here in the middle, which I can press. Um, and this thing right here. I think the console was the console? Yeah, console disabled. I can't do anything with that. I've left clicked it, it doesn't work. The line is running through here though. It doesn't seem to be working. Um, let's try the red circle first. Did anything happen? Doesn't look like it. Nothing happens on that side. What's over here? What I can also do is turn it on. I actually completely forgot about this. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, turn it on. he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Oh, that's not good. Eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. Wow. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere Holy moments geez, until the big bomb screen. goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. About me. Okay, everything has a two game. on it. What all this means? I barely know where Did to start. Happen? Nope. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Sure. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. That I have to say me this, for sure. Though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Let's go into the circle. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control you wrested away here. from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some ten extra on that time one. on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. Do I need to find a painting? Oh dear me, what's the it's matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're oh, going me extra or what time. you're supposed oh, nice. to be doing right now? Right, or no did you just buttons. assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from pink button one here. to button, Is it pink too? screen to screen, pink clicking G? on every little pink thing in G? this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. 
Why would you say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? I haven't found a pink <laughs> two at all. Stanley. It says find you're a pink in for two. quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stan. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go pieces? Confused. There's Another no choice. pink to. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Boom. R.I.P. Stanley. <laughs> Alright. There was, no, no, were, there were two pink buttons that I saw. Both of them had G's on it. No, two. It said, a it said a pink two, and I found two pink buttons, and it both had G's on it. Huh. Alright, so... I found an ending. I, I don't know if you can do that right. I don't know if you can do that right. Press both the G's, receive good game, yeah. That's one to think about. I'm genuinely not sure. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, so, let's go back to the... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I know where I want to go. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee Remember the lounge experience first, grading thing that we it. did in the first, first playthrough? The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic, like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. Every time I go into this room, it tells me something weird. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'm not. Go away. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Let's find the next one. Um, Look, Stanley, so guys I think we're here. we have to be on the wrong foot here. And I'm not your enemy. Really check it out on YouTube wrong. later. I realize um, that investing in your trust in someone else let's go back over there because you can actually this was the, the first story thing that I has been about nothing but you all the what really I was in the middle of something do you have zero consideration for others are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you why I don't know how to convince you of this but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful no let me prove it let me prove that I'm on your side give me a chance I haven't gone through the blue door yet. Let's keep it. Let's, or I haven't gone through the now red door yet. listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Last time I went through the blue door three times. And I messed with his brain and I messed all of it up. I haven't gone through red yet. So let's do red. Let's see what happens. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, Do just the way you're doing right yeah. now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you.
do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Not run off the edge. I tried that. I'm wondering what's gonna happen here. So obviously there's that door. I could have got out a long time ago. But I'm not. Curious. Nothing yet. It rises a little bit. Disappearing now. It's a blackness. Ooh. They like go over me and everything. Shall we go through the door, or are we gonna wait? Um, I'm actually not sure. I'd like to wait. I'd like to see if anything sp special is gonna happen. Not sure. I can go, I guess. Disappearing. If there's more colors after this instead of something special. Is it going to be more colors or not? Looks like I waited to the end. Oh, there we go. Stars. And it's the same thing. It's the same thing. We saw this already. So it's on a rotation. No, wait. Where are you going? I've waited way too long, guy. Hey, Reed Marsh. How are you doing? This is like some sort of dice. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! Please, no, Stanley! Let me stay here! Don't take this from me! Really? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Oh, 
Let's go. No! Oh, wow, oh. you live. Thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Beg, narrator. Beg for me, please. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Nope. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing Brilliant to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Alright. So that's an ending. How many endings do I have? I have a lot. I have a lot. Alright, let's go back. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Is he really gonna mess with my head now? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Question is, do I still love that room, or is he going to make up something cool again? And here it was, the lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room, what a room. What a room. Va va voom. What a room. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open Every door. Every time I enter that room, it just throws some brilliant dialogue in there. I say dialogue more. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Bad over. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why... I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want there's to help you to show you options. something beautiful. In the red Look, door. Let me prove it. Open that let me first. prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? Come on. I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. He does show me a lot quicker than he did last time around. Alright. So we're coming into the room. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? That's over mm -hmm. here again. Here. Yes. Oh, it's 
It's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> And then he's going to ask us to go back, and then we go back. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. We'll if you hurt once. yourself, we'll if once. you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Yeah, jump once and back. That's the plan. No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There, see? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. I tell you if we one stop ending. moving, we just have to stop moving. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Let's get the dialogue going, or the monologue again. Right, so there's only one ending. If you take the, the red door, like I did. No. Which no, is this no. one? No, what do you do you just not believe this me? This what can one. I say to convince you? Go AFK for hours. Now that's not happening. And I doubt there's an ending there that does AFK for hours. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Alright, I'll go back once yes. more. Yes. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? No, perhaps not. That's the second time that he said this. But there's only one ending going through the red door, which is this one. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? But you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally that's, willing to kill yourself to keep really me bad. from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, is it over? Go. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. back. Alright. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. No. No, the orders were still missing. For now. What he, uh... Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Let's Perhaps see how he wanted to stop by the employee the lounge door, first, to the room, just sorry. to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing. What? Really? 
I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Now the question is... I think it's three times total. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. It's three times in a row. Let's see. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley <laughs> walked funny. through the red door. <laughs> it's, it's still funny. Second time around as well. Um, now we know, because we figured that out last time, the bleeder's right there. You can just go through it and break the game. But... I haven't actually done that one yet. The question is, is that end different than the one we just did? I'm not sure. Um... I might have to find out, actually. Go. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have the exact wanted same. you to be happy all this time? It's the exact time? same thing. The problem is so all the exact choices. Same the two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and it's running, the exact just same the way thing. you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Hey! hey. Mm. No. What do we well, want? Did we have to load last time? What I, I we thought we didn't. For? Hmm. Hey. Didn't see this last time around. I guess it's not there. You can always reset yeah. at the menu. Yes. Oh, it's Yeah, let's reset at the menu actually. It's not a bad idea. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What's going on? Like wind outside or something. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door and this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire It was okay. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the I first open door on his left. So we're gonna go, um... Stanley was so bad at following blue. directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Actually... Oh, I remember, Stanley, if you go triple blue, there's a couple of other door options. Might be an option. That might be an, option. Sure that might be an idea. I realize that Burton, uh, says, have you ever played the mod? I have not, the fact actually. Is that the story um, has been I literally about bought this game what? yesterday, really? two days ago. I was um, in the middle of something. Don't know any you about have it zero until consideration for others. Minutes. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. All Give right. me a chance. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. So blue three times. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Have you gone to the meeting room yet? You're like five times. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Died narrator. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. 
You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of right. where we were before. So the third door, I haven't... Take it for a spin. I haven't taken the third door yet. So we're going to do that. Okay, I'm going to stop you Oh, we're there. just here. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with again? this one. Let's take a look. Oh, it's the... yeah. Alright, so this is the second time we're seeing this. It's pretty cool. I like the 89.9% .9 of players are more attractive than Stanley. Alright, so we'll go back in. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. It's the baby. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. The baby with the fire? Yeah. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button the to move him back to the yeah. right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. I think this it's is the a last one. Game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family this life. Might, this might just I be the last the ending that I'm looking for. Will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Have you gone achievement hunting now? Oh, this is tedious. I'm done! I'm done! Go die! You heartless bastard! Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's <laughs> see. What do we have here? <laughs> Back to Minecraft. <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Back to Minecraft. 
Well, Stanley, is this any better? <laughs> At last, the one thing you've always desired. A is this the last one, actually? Absolutely nothing to do with. But is Fire it Star said in chat earlier that, that there might be a way Will around the cave. Well, I'll say Go this. check that out. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here, no, here, and then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? Isn't it grand? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Right, let's go. See if we can go around. Stay up the high ground as much as possible. Because you can jump. I'm not jumping in there. It doesn't look like it's possible. And even if it was, I don't think there's anything there. So you just have to go in. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? That doesn't look like it. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> Back and portal. Yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Oh, yeah. Alright, so the question is: Last time I dropped in, critical thinking. Can you also Stanley. not drop in? Your forte, genius. No, actually, you know what? I think it that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more. Last time I dropped games, in, and I highly doubt you're any wiser. Let's wait for a little bit. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Like at all. He doesn't say anything. I guess. I guess we just go.
right, so this drops in. Is there an out that doesn't let you drop to the floor? Cause that's the one I did last time around. I guess everything makes you drop to the floor. Oh, it looks like it. Well, well, well. I guess we're just walking back. I think I got all the endings. Or at least, like, apart from one, maybe two, but... I think I got pretty much all of them. Because this was, like, I... I or, you should... There should be a clear ending. Because there was nothing here. And then you remember back, and then you die here. You go back here. Right? Yeah, there you go. Um... I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's mm. happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost uh, that comes Mr. Potato's with it. saying, what about the He'll nuclear one? Soon what That's I was the only to one of him. which I can maybe think like that me. might be... Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear I guess I can confusion. go back up there once more. That's who I am. See if I can that make some sense I out of it. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, can go back there then I'll be more. back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Yeah, I'll do it once more. I'll do the nuclear ending once more. I think that's it. I'm quite sure that's it. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Let me check the achievements. I'm actually opening the achievements right now. You cannot see, uh, you can see on my screen that the game is paused. I'll have a look at them. But genuinely, genuinely, I don't care for achievements in like any game. I just don't. I have four of them at the moment. I need six more. The achievement, this is an achievement one I need. One with a buttload of eight. <laughs> Commitment, play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. I need to complete it in under four minutes and 22 seconds, not including load times. Don't play the Stanley Parable for five years. And unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. Those are the ones that I still need, in case you were wondering. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna try and get, like, that nuclear bomb that killed me. A couple of goes ago. Let's see if we can defuse that. See if we can get an alternate ending because there might Stanley still be one there. Ahead through there the might still be one. That read mind control facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? General questions about bucket himself. filling. Did he have the strength to find out? 
A short history of the relations between Poland and Austria-Hungary. Nice. That is interesting. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant Getting nothing. tired. Well, it's been a long run, actually. Three and a half hours. See if we can figure this one out. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly right. blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or the sad pink ones right or here. content. Walking, eating, working. That's a G. All of it monitored and commanded from it's this also very a G. place. Also a G. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the right. controls Let's once try. It's and my last for go. all. After this, we're stopping, we're done. On, please. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Red! After they kept you Red. enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, well, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event right. that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say... Um, Boom. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Yellow button. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere it moments wrong, until button. the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. A blue one. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? Doesn't do anything. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. Three. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone Confused. inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though, two again. this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious oh, additional days, seconds, you. Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or Big what you're supposed button. to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, 
screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the retching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley I'm genuinely died not again. sure. And Stanley if there is, died again. If there is an exit for it. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Because the last 30, 30 seconds they go on goodbye. You can't actually do anything anymore. Until a big See? Boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the oh, joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the RP moment we feed him until the moment I say happily ever up. Alright. I don't know if there's um I genuinely don't know if there's a a solution to that. Um, my gut feeling is no. But I'm not sure. I'm genuinely not sure. What I do know is that I played through Stanley's Parable. I did not go achievement hunting. I will not do that today. I will not do that in the future. Um, achievement hunting is not something I, I enjoy. Um, I'm sure there's two of them. I think two achievements there that actually unlock some extra gameplay. I would like to do that, but I probably won't upload that to YouTube. Maybe I'll do that here just a little bit. I'm not sure about that. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, this was Pledge Plays The Stanley Parable. I did manage to make it through about three and a half hours or something like that in total here on the stream. All the parts will be uploaded to YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, obviously, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching on the stream as well. I'll be going on on the stream for a little bit, but for the YouTube VOD, this is it. Obviously, check out um, my stream over at twitch.tv uh, slash zpledge. It's with a, uh, with a Z or a Z uh, instead of the pledge, right, basically. I'll put that in down in the description as well. Um, follow me on Twitter, at Patrick Ledge. And apart from that, really, that's basically gonna be it thanks for watching um obviously follow my next playthrough of wolf among us over the next month as well and i'll be doing the walking dead season two as soon as it comes out as well thanks for watching obviously check out the original walking dead as well which is already onto youtube if you found this period by accident thanks for watching see you next time